All right, what's going on everybody? We are gonna do a quick land setup and show you some concepts that I like teaching the dog. We've got Thin Lizzie here, a black Labrador retriever. We've got an honor dog, young Hank, who's going home to South Carolina to hunt. So he's gonna honor, Thin Lizzie's gonna run the setup. And what you will see here is some keyhole marks, some terrain features that they've gotta navigate and hold their line. She's gonna work on a poison bird, which is seeing a mark fall, no off, run a blind. Before we get started, do me a favor, <laughs> click subscribe, we really appreciate it. Jump on our Patreon, there's a link below to join there to hang out with us during our happy hours and learn more tips and tricks on the Patreon. All right, Lizzie, you ready? So this is a single mark, one bird getting thrown across the road through a keyhole, we're about to send it. Here we go. Set. All right, can you go pick that up for me, please? That throw got angled back way too far. Can you walk out for me this way? Walk that way for me, please. Oh, there you go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Right about there is where it should land and maybe just a little bit further away from the road. Thank you. So first throw, no good. Now we're going round two. Not bad for our dog to see a no bird, get a quick denial. This stuff happens in training. So for her, she saw a mark get thrown. It's not where I want it to land. She watched it. She has to stay steady. She didn't hear my name or her name. And I'm still talking, communicating, and she didn't go on any word just for that fact, right? So not a bad piece of training. No biggie. All right, let's rock and roll. Perfect throw, perfect throw. Lizzie. So thin Lizzie broke down at the road, just a hair, across the road, bam. Good dog. So a keyhole mark or a keyhole blind is where the bird lands in between two groups of trees. Uh, hedgerows. Right here we've got two big patches of bushy stuffs and so she has to drive through it. A dog's natural inclination through a keyhole is instead of going straight they're going to bear left or bear right. So by doing this a bunch you get the dog to hold their line and go straight. So again this is like high rep situation. The more times we run keyhole marks and keyhole blinds the better their confidence to, is going to be to hold the line going straight to the bird. All right, mark number two is down a hill, down a deep little valley, a ditch, if you will. It's almost like a little ditch. A hill sloping this way, a hill sloping this way, and that bird's gonna be on the other side of it. And what you could see with a young dog is they'll, they'll come down this hill, they'll go down the other hill, and they'll bank up the left-hand hill. And they'll hunt up there and then fall down the hill, or you'll see dogs fall down the hill too quickly and be off to the right of the bird instead of holding their lines. There we go, we got our bird. Lizzie, let's see what thin Lizzie does. Holding a good line so far. Faded a little bit down the hill. Bang, maybe not, maybe she just held a great line. All right, we're gonna haul butt to the rock pile. So our next mark, we're thinking of factors here, right? So factors, the keyholes factors the terrain such as the hills and slopes of the hill as well as the roads and you saw on her first mark she kind of broke down a little bit early on one side of the road and then crossed the road and did a great job here set good this one is going to be thrown directly across the hill not as many features except for the road and then i'm going to run a blind straight through the fall area so the factor of the blind is running through across a road and through a fall area big flat throw this way please big flat throw that way Lizzie, when she's done picking this up, will you stay right there? I'm gonna run that blind. Lizzie's doing well, holding the line. Did not break down the road, pinned her mark. These marks are not very far. These are kind of a, a mixture for young and old. 
So our young dogs are gonna have a little bit more bobbling with the factors. The older dogs hopefully will do well, but I'm gonna make it tougher on them by running the blinds. So it's a good little mix of getting the most out of one setup basically. Here, I bet that mark is 95 to 100 yards, that mark. The first mark's probably 75 yards, 85, 100, and then we're gonna do a short, in your face, breaking bird, thrown angle in, which is tough too, next. Set, dead bird, good, set, good, set, good, set, here, good, here, good, back. Let's see if she breaks down. She did not, that was good. I allowed her on that one. There you go. Uh, I allow, I kind of wanted to see, she was a little offline on the blind, but I want, before I blew the whistle, I wanted to see if she would break through that old fall. If I handled right there, and cast her out of it, then I would have kind of taken the factor of the old fall out of it. So I let her carry the cast offline just a little bit, just to see if she would put her nose down and hunt, and she didn't, she did great. Fourth and final mark, we're doing an angle in throw, short in their face, I'm gonna no Lizzie off, run a blind, come back and then pick up that short check down bird, and I'm gonna cue her in and talk to her to convince her it's not far, it's short, go easy which when I say easy, easy and Lizzie sound similar, so you might see her get a little excited. All right, here we go. No bird. Good, right there, good. Back. Here, that's fine. I'm gonna call her in. She took kind of a poor initial line. Sit, sit, no, good. Good, back, no here, here, set, set, good, good, right there, back. No here with a little stem for being a wuss, here, come here, take a step forward, set, good, right there, no, good, back, now we're talking. There you go, good. So uh, as I'm analyzing what just happened, maybe she tried, she took a poor initial line flaring off of the poison bird, unacceptable, especially for her age and skill set. Um, then set, easy, easy, good. Lizzie, I let her relax, lock back in on that mark, talk gently, sweetly, tenderly to her and she picked it up at a girl so again on that blind right the poison bird blind um i recalled her for having poor initial lines then she got all wonky on me for a second whatever no big deal and then set as soon as i lined her up and got her looking where she belonged after a few wonks boy she looked really good and dang near lined it and then I put control on her at the end of the blind. It's really important to finish a blind strongly and not just let them hunt it up downwind. I wanna have complete control at the end of the blind. So that's our, uh, one of our setups. That's kind of one of the, when I'm looking at setting up marks, those are features I'm looking at um, to challenge the dog. Distance uh, would be another way we would have made this a little bit more difficult on Lizzie is making this one, you know, 200 yards or 175 um you know take that rock wall one and put it all the way at the other end of the trees but we're working on trying to get some master titles we're kind of done running our our little cues for the time being so let's shorten some things up work on check down birds work on poison birds get that control so hopefully this helped you come up with ideas when you go and look at a field of what you could do to change things up for you and your dog also again do me a favor click subscribe join us on patreon and we appreciate you for tuning in